Hey, it's Tom Gallagher, the video paneur, and I got another transport. This is a 2022 Range Rover HSE Sport Silver Edition. Here we go. So let's go ahead and dive into this vehicle. I'll show you some things that uh, are rather cool that you've never seen. And unfortunately, I won't be able to show you some other things because the vehicle is in transit mode. It's featured in Santorini black exterior with an almond espresso interior. It's offered by Land Rover of St. Louis. We get a tight shot of the valance right below the front bumper. And you can see this piece is removed. That's part of the transit program. The uh, items are removed for safekeeping and stored in the back of the vehicle so they don't get scratched. Sticker price is $93.15. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up. Help us grow this channel. You can see the hood is covered in a cloth, kind of a cloth vinyl material. And then you can see the plastic or the vinyl on the side of the vehicle. Those areas get scratched a lot in transit, so it protects it. You can also see on the center of the 21 inch wheels, as well as the handle for the door handle. Uh, those items have, been, have not been installed yet. For additional information to set up a test drive, give Joe a call. His contact information is listed below. You can see the rear valance is missing as well. That's in the back, uh, the back cargo area, dual exhaust. You can see the shark fin antenna, rear aerodynamic spoiler, rear wiper defogger up there. You can also see the plastic on all the A, B, C, and D pillars protecting those uh, those areas, keeping them from getting scratched. On the inside, we've got plenty of plastic covering things as well, and we'll show you that. Another look at the 21 inch all season radial tires, as well as the gloss black uh, style 9001 wheels. You can see the gloss black roof rails, the black front and rear bumper, black side mirrors with LED turn indicators in them. Really a neat look when you uh, see some of this as far as uh, transit mode. And starting it is unique. The doors are all locked. You have to unlock the front door with a key and then you have to lock the unlock the other doors from the inside. So I wasn't able to open the rear cargo area, but I'll show you as much as I can. We have a third row seat that I cannot show you, but the second row, both uh, the outboard seats are heated and vented seats as well as the center armrest here. Both driver and passenger are heated and vented power seats, 16-way power. We have the panoramic moonroof with the power sunshade. Here you can see the eight-inch entertainment screens on both back on the back of both driver and passenger. So you have an entertainment system in the back seat. Here you can see the covered passenger seat. It's power heated, vented passenger seat as well as power heated vented driver's seat we have 360 parking aid for both front and rear of the vehicle there's the panoramic moonroof with the power sunshade with that power sunshade closed with the sun coming through it's really a really neat look i know i've shown a couple of others in the past to me it's really a, a great look as we look at the center stack and we'll show you that We'll show you as much as we can here in a moment. So here's a shot from the back seat. We have four zone climate control. So both front driver and passenger and then rear passengers are have their own climate control, which allows you to control the speed and the temperature of the air that you're receiving. And I'm gonna try to do a Another video on the same vehicle once it's gone through the PDI, the pre-delivery inspection, when they remove all the plastic and then install all the uh, the items that are not installed. And uh, that way I'll give you an idea. This is a 2022, just came off the truck. So you can see here, part of the door handle is missing and uh, plastic on the entire driver's door to protect it. The reason that is, is when it's on the boat or when it's on the truck, the drivers or the uh, people on the ship, they're wearing cargo clothing and uh, it sometimes gets grease on it or gets they got boots on. So this is to protect as much as they possibly can. They've learned over years what to protect, why it gets scratched, how it gets scratched. They do an analysis on every damage. Uh, they call it TD transit damage. So they wanna try to eliminate or alleviate as much as they can. So that's why these items 
are covered. Some um, some items are turned off. Some items were still turned on, like the. So this has the 10-inch Pivi Pro touchscreen, which is the duo system. You have two, an upper and a lower screen. Here you can see the vehicle has very little fuel. The battery isn't completely charged. You see your sport pedals. So some items work and then some items don't work. And the ones that don't work surprise me and the ones that do work surprise me. So it's kind of interesting what items are working and what items aren't. Like the backup camera does work, which you would expect that, but the rest of the touchscreen, I'll show you that in a moment. So here you can see the battery needs charging and your fuel. You can only drive these vehicles at 10 miles an hour. So if you were to get out on the road, you'd be in trouble quick. And that's all part of the transit uh, mode that it, uh, the uh, vehicle is set in. So that top 10 inch Pivi Pro touchscreen does not work. You'll see, I'll punch through it here. So when you put the vehicle in reverse and you can see the dynamic grid lines, but you can see as I'm punching through the various items on the touchscreen, none of these items are, are uh, set up. And that's part of the PDI, the pre-delivery inspection. And that's when the dealer brings it into the service department and they set all the computers. But you can see as I'm punching through this, none of it is working. And the screen turns off, as you can see there. The AC is working, and I control the dual zones. You can control the heated, vented seats. You can control the fan speed. But most of the other stuff is not working. But I wanted to shoot this. It's a 2022, and they're, they're just coming out. But also, I wanted to show you what the transit mode was like. In order to start the vehicle, you have to use the key fob in a certain configuration to get it started. If you didn't know that configuration, you'd never figure it out. You'd never be able to start it. I had to ask the guys in the service department how to start these. And each manufacturer is different. You see the key fob, your cup holders, electronic parking brake. So the drive mode, this one is one that surprised me. The drive mode is working. So you can go from the, uh, here you can see grass and gravel, mud, ruts, sand the sand program i don't know what the sand program is i guess it's uh it's a program i didn't take that in school so i must have uh, missed that comfort program economy so all of those work which kind of surprised me and then i'm going to show you something else that didn't work that really surprised me so here's the center console it's refrigerated and i've never gotten in one that was turned on at first that's frost on there I mean, that's a, a little freezer. I've always thought they were refrigerated, but that's literally frost in there. If you had something, I guess you could freeze it soda or, you know, water. You could freeze it in there. Uh, I've never gotten in one that was turned on before. I went ahead and shut it off. So here's one that surprised me. I was trying to open the glove box, and I wasn't able to open it. It does have the CDD, CD and DVD players in this, in the glove box. I wasn't able to open it, but what's another strange one is the panoramic moonroof does work the sunshade works so i was able to retract the sunshade as you can see here and then the the first panel is movable and that works so the glove box doesn't open but this does just kind of strange what works and what doesn't when it's in the transit mode and i'm sure they have reasons for all of that why some things work and why some things don't so again, we have the uh, Meridian sound system, 825 watts, 19 speakers, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, interactive driver display with Bluetooth, tilt telescoping, four zone climate control, as I mentioned, lane keeping, traffic sign, clear exit monitor, adaptive speed limiter. As far as the engine, I can't show you the cargo area. The back door didn't open. That's where all the goodies are packed away. As far as an engine, we have a 3.0 liter turbocharged inline six cylinder, 355 horsepower, 365 torque, eight speed automatic, all wheel drive, drive mode select, 19 city, 24 highway. There you can see the covering on the hood to protect it from any uh, thing dripping on it. And a great three quarter shot as we back away from the vehicle. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Choose your next video. I'll try to shoot this one again once it's been uh, all detailed. Thanks again for watching.